How can we actually bridge to DGen Chain? Actually, use DGen Chain. The first thing we need to do is go to bridge.dgen.tips. From there, we can connect the wallet. If you have a wallet, just use that. If you're a mobile, whatever, then this is gonna pop up. You have to scan it with your phone. MetaMask likely will probably be a little snitch and not work. If it doesn't work, you can also try other wallets and we'll show you Wallet Connect. This may take a while to load, then we can try scanning it. Also, if you're trying to use Rainbow, Rainbow on mobile will not work. Rainbow on desktop will work. If that all doesn't work and it doesn't work on desktop, just head to the browser tab on your mobile phone in MetaMask and then you can just use the URL thing and just type it in and go to the same, so bridge.dgen.tips and then you just hit enter. From there, you can just click the connect wallet up top. Then you can click MetaMask. From there, just click on the account you want to connect. Then it will tell you that you're probably gonna switch network. Also, you will probably not have the actual DGen chain connected. You will probably not have DGen set up if you never used it before. So if you're on desktop, just go to this little add DGen chain at the bottom. Just click it and it's going to ask you to confirm. We're going to do that on mobile just to show you. So if you go there, it will ask you and be, oh, yeah, do you want to add network? Make sure you actually click at the few details and see that it's all set to rpc.dgen.tips and that it's spelled properly. Because if this is not proper, then you may actually be just on a scam page. So make sure to actually check the network URL to be rpc.dgen.tips because that's gonna be the actual DGen network, just make sure. Then go further, then switch network, and you're gonna be on DGen. From there, we're gonna continue on mobile. Just, I'm gonna select you um, base and I'm gonna just select the DGen token. So I'm gonna swap DGen from base to DGen on the DGen layer three. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just bridge a thousand, um, just a thousand DGen. Then we can go switch network, switch network because we're switching from base again. Then we need to approve the token. And here you actually need to make sure that you're using the spending cap. So if you can actually please use the spending cap because otherwise the actual page could transfer any amount of token. So if you go max or if you go unlimited, then the actual page that you're using could just spend whatever amount of token it, it does. So I'm gonna use the actual spending cap of a thousand because we're bridging a thousand. I'll approve. Then our transaction will likely go through. It will be fast. It's gonna be base, 50 cents, cool. And then I actually need to continue and actually do the token swap now. So we're gonna just do that. Didn't we already do the approval? Why is it asking you? So I actually just figured out what happens on the actual DGen UI on the bridge. It will just say approve, approve, approve. Just approve once and then do the second transaction. And then you can actually see on base scan. So you should probably go to your actual freaking, black, freaking blockchain explorer and check the second transaction. That second transaction, you do an approve. And then the second one where MetaMask says unknown method. Then you can actually go there and just see, oh, we actually did a transaction nine minutes ago and just now it's showing up on the actual DGen chain. So if I go to my address, I actually now have 2000 DGen. I just wanted to bridge 1000, but since the transaction, I didn't get any feedback from the actual bridge. I just did it again to see and check because out of the spending limit, I knew that it's only gonna be max 1000 DGen that I lose. So we actually now see that it's doing freaking whole lot of transfers on base and we can actually then see, okay, after around 10 minutes, you should probably see it pop up. So do two transactions instead of MetaMask and then you're good. And then you'll have it on DGen chain. It's, it is not really a pleasant user experience. I literally thought I was hacked, but now that it's there. And now that we're on DGen chain, we can go to mint.club and we can just use it, right? We can just connect our wallet and then buy stuff, or we can literally just go down and we can check eligibility on airdrops. We can claim because we now have DGen on DGen chain.